What's good, y'all? What's happening, man? It's Fly Kicks, and welcome, welcome back, back, welcome back, welcome back, back to the channel. If this is the first time here, man, I appreciate you for stopping by. Feel free to hit that subscribe button, man. Join the freaking Fly Club. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. Drop a like. Drop a comment if you like the content. And last but not least, man, I got my IG name listed right here down below. Head over to IG, give me a follow, let's interact on there as well, man. Now y'all seen that title, man, seen that thumbnail. Let's get into these joints, man. We got an OG style Nike box, man. We've been seeing Prime go crazy, man. They've been releasing his cleats. They got Colorado wearing his cleats. He was with Under Armour at first. He was in Colorado, Nike school, got back with Nike, man. And now they're starting to retro the shoes, not just as cleats, but as actual sneakers, man. The tag on this joint reads, Air DT Max 96, black, white, varsity maze, size 12, personal pair, the Coach Primes, man. Let's check these joints out, man, see if y'all rocking with them. Now here we have the Nike Air DT Max, man, by Coach Prime, Deion Sanders. We got the retro 2024 pair. We last saw these joints in 2018. But now that Prime is back with Nike, Nike football and Nike overallers are taking over with that Coach Prime momentum, man. And we're starting to get some retros, man. Let's check this joint out. Let's see if you rocking with them, man. Now starting with the front of this shoe, man, this joint comes lacing a smooth black new buck with the white shark teeth going all the way around the sides of the shoe. And those hits are in leather, man. They do have like the yellow holes coming through, yellow Nike sign up top up there, man. Some really smooth new bug material with the white leather hits on the inside of there, man. Really smooth pieces going across. Get to the back of the shoe, man. This does have the new bug hits as well. The yellow gold Nike swoosh, air on the back, man. Super clean, classic, classic pair. Get to the inside of the shoe, man. Still has that black and white with the shark teeth style going throughout the midsole and connect to the upper of the shoe. And back to the front of this joint, man. And it does have the black laces factory installed. And it does have that forefront um, foot strap going across there as well. Now getting to the tongue, it does have the uh, signature logo, man, Diamond Turf. The diamond at home plate is like a, a baseball field. That's where the diamond part. And the turf comes from football, man. You see it has a field goal combined with a home plate. And that's the original logo from when Deion Sanders played football and baseball. That's where this logo comes from. And if you watch my video on the Colin Murray uh, Diamond Turf cleat, they use this same logo because, of course, Colin Murray was drafted in the first round for baseball and was also the number one overall pick for football. So Colin's the perfect person to be rocking these Diamond Turfs, like I said in my other video, man. Outside of Shador and his sons, of course, I think Colin's the um, one that relates to him more with him being a dual athlete, even though he hasn't played any pro um, games yet. The Oakland Raiders still own his rights as a baseball player, so you never know what happens, man. Once you get kind of older in football years, you definitely can still go play baseball, especially with his arm talent, speed, and athleticism. I think he's going to get a couple of games in before it's all said and done. Now, getting into that midsole, man, all white and black midsole, man, matching the upper, man. The bottom midsole connects with the design of the upper of the midsole. Now, one thing they did change, the back of this air bubble was like a gold yellow material on the original pairs. Went with a clear air bubble, it's not really a game changer for me, but the true, true OG periods, I have seen some people um, kind of complain about that, but not really anything that I'm worried about. Now, getting to the outsole, man, did use an all white outsole with the black Nike swoosh going sideways. Has that black head in the middle, then they have young coach prime inside the bubble on the bottom of the shoe, man. That's young prime right there, that must be the money prime. Super clean touch on these joints, man. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feeling about these joints so far. Let's check out this right shoe. Now getting into that right shoe, man, it's the same as the left. You can see it has the smooth black new bug going across the toe. The side of the shoe has the black and white going hand in hand, man. Black new bug, white leather. The black pieces does have yellow holes just showing the background of the shoe. Has that yellow gold Nike swoosh up top up there, man. Super nice touch. Really giving off the OG vibe for this joint. Getting to the back of the shoe, you can see it has the black new buck on the bottom, white leather in the middle, and then the air on that pull tab. Has that yellow gold Nike swoosh as well. Getting to the inside of the shoe, man, just the same as the outside. Black and white going hand in hand, side by side. Has the yellow swoosh going up top on the inside of the shoe as well. Black and white going across the midsole on both sides, man. The midsole matching the design on the upper and they going down and extended connecting to each other. Super dope there. Outsole is white with the black Jordan sign. You see Coach Prime, man. Young Prime sitting right there in the air bubble. Super nice touch. They do have the strap on the front of the shoe. And I heard Dion say the reason he did the strap is because uh, when you sign with Nike, they wouldn't let you spat your shoes and cover your shoes anymore. So he made sure he used um, a strap on pretty much all of his models of shoes just so he could have that extra security because he couldn't spat up anymore. 
Supposed to be a yellow bubble, but they went with the clear one, man. Doesn't really bother me. But leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're feeling about these joints so far, man. Now, I was able to grab these joints for retail, man. I was in Vegas for All-Star Weekend, and Nike had an event where Dion Shador and Shiloh came, sat down, had a panel. And Dion just kind of talked about the shoe, man. He just gave his whole backstory about the logo and things like that. He brought out a lot of the um, Colorado PE cleats that they're going to be wearing this season. They have like four or five different um, Dion shoes in the black, white, and gold colorway, man. So Colorado's going to be super clean. They got new uniforms, new helmets. They're coming hard, man. They're definitely going to be coming clean this year. And uh, we're going to see how they play, but they definitely going to look good. Dion say you look good, you feel good, you feel good, you play good, you play good, they pay good, man. So they starting with the looks. They got that so far, man. Let's see how the season um, turns out when football season rolls around in August, man. Now, retail price on these joints was 170 bucks. It was like 185 out the door in Vegas. And um, resell on these joints is like 300-ish around the big sizes, man. Some a little more, some a little less, but around that 250 to 300 range as far as resale. I think they did do a shock drop on these on sneakers and they sold out super fast. But I was able to grab them joints in person like right after the event. Um, Dion and his family, and, and they brought a bunch of Colorado players as well. They left and went to the customization station. And um, they just made an announcement that the Dion shoe was now available. First person in line, grab my size 12, man. The easiest cop of the whole weekend. Everything else kind of had a line. Sneaker um, collectors and resellers are in line camping and stuff like that, but no one knew that they were gonna actually drop this shoe until Dion said, go ahead and drop it, man. The guy that I actually grabbed the shoe from didn't even know that they were supposed to be releasing them today, but he was like, Dion's here, he made the call. So he dropped these joints in Super Bowl, Nike football, man. Super dope experience. So I'll drop a clip of the um, event with Dion. He was sitting there talking about the shoe, but that's just a crazy story of me being able to see them, see them in person, and then grab the shoe as he's talking about it and talking about the cleats that they're gonna be wearing this season. Now, as far as quality and quality control, man, pretty good quality. Nothing too crazy on a new bug material, nothing too crazy on a leather material, but this is an athletic shoe. This isn't meant to be like super casual. So the material is definitely durable for sure. Um, I know we're gonna style them. I know a lot of people are gonna wear them casually like myself, but um, pretty decent material, definitely gonna hold up. I'm um, gonna get a couple of wears in these joints, 100% for sure, man. And as far as quality control, man, no flaws on these joints. I seen quite a few pairs, just the people that were just taking them out, trying them on. I didn't see anybody have any crazy quality issues, no complaints or anything like that, bro. So, good shoe, good story, great experience, man. This one is gonna stand in collection just off of the whole Super Bowl experience, seeing them in person and then grabbing them right after seeing them, man. Just a super cool um, story to tell. But overall, man, this about wraps it up for this video. Just want to give you guys a quick unboxing and review of this Nike DT Max, man. The Dion Primetime Diamond Turf. Whatever you want to call them, man, we got them. I don't know if they're going to do a big release. I don't know if they're going to ship out pairs to retailers. I'm not sure what the plans are. But I got mine now. Happy to have them. Um, hopefully, if you're looking for them, you can grab them. If it's resale, hopefully it's a cheaper price. If it's retail, man, I hope you do your footwork and grab them if and whenever they decide to release these joints, man. But y'all leave a comment down below. Let me know if this is a cop for you. Are you dropping? Are you dripping, flipping, skipping? Are you not worried about Dion's? Is this too much of an old school shoe for you? Are you not a Coach Prime fan? Whatever you feeling, man, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feeling about these, man. But like I said, man, it's going to wrap it up for this one. Until next time on the next video, we got the Nike Air DT Max 96. The Coach Proms, Colorado Specials. Let me know how you're feeling about these joints, man. Peace.